So you've got your unturned server and you want to, to access everything, get about and make full use of it. Don't you worry, you've come to the right place. It's super simple and in this short little video, I'm going to show you how to get about. Obviously, if you don't have a server, you can go down below, order one. It's very, very fast. You can have one set up in pretty much minutes. To access the panel, just go to panel.pinehosting.com. You can enter this URL if you want, or from the website, you can go to client area and then manage server. Inside the panel, you'll be greeted by this page. It's very nice. You'll see the pine trees, beautiful, beautiful pine trees. And you'll see how much RAM you ordered. You'll see the CPU usage. This is out of 600%, by the way because it has six cores, 12 threads, and you also see your disk space. On the left, you'll see my account. This is where you can change all your account details, update your password, which is encrypted. You can update your email address. You can change your name. You can update all of that. Um, mine will be blurred on the right, but obviously yours won't be. In security controls, you can set up two-factor authentication and you can see your IP, which obviously for me is blurred again, but for you, you can see your IP address and you can see who's accessing your server. In account API, you can set up more advanced stuff such as bots that sort of communicate with the server. It's a bit more advanced. I'm not really going to touch on that. Brad might in a later tutorial if you want it, but uh, for now, we're just going to leave this. And then in my servers, you can see a list of all your servers. Obviously, you probably just have one. Uh, in my case, we've got demo server, pinehosting.com. You can see it's IP and port here. Uh, this is obviously the port. This is the IP. You see the RAM amount and all of that again. And to access the all the server controls, you just gotta click on the name. When you click on the name, you'll be greeted by this page, which is all your server management stuff. You've got your console, you can kill players. You can see we've had some random players on here. One was mauled by a zombie, one was crushed. You can enter commands. You can admin yourself through this page. It's just like normal and turn commands. In file management, you can add all your mods. Um, Brad did a video on my channel on how to add mods. I'll leave a link to that if you want, but we might cover it in a bit more detail with the panel later on. In sub users, we can make other accounts that also have access to this hosting page so they can like change stuff. Maybe you have like a staff member on your server and you want them to be working for you and changing stuff. This is where you do all that. You can just create a user and fill in all the details. Schedules, you can schedule certain things to happen on the server pretty self-explanatory and then databases is where you can set up all your mysql database stuff it's a bit more complicated you can check out our video which will be coming soon on that it should be out by the time you're watching this but if not it's coming out very soon and on configuration you can update your server name and just change a few settings most of the stuff you'll do will just be in the console and the file management section obviously this is very handy and you can stop start like restart kill your server super simple to use and obviously anytime you want to get back to this page you can go through the website client area or you can just do panel.pinehosting.com anyways i hope this was helpful i've tried to be as clear as possible hopefully you enjoy pine hosting we tried our best to keep things simple and there'll be many more of these videos there's a link to the playlist down below you can follow them all and you'll have your server just how you want it in no time